Lyric 8.5 has a new masking feature that is easy to use and very quickly you can tell which layers in the scene are being masked and in which way. I know I'm going to be adding 3D text to the scene, so I like changing the field of view before I start. In the camera properties, change the FOV to 20. Now let's add a full frame headshot to the scene. So I'll pick one here and I'm just going to shove it a little bit to the left. Now let's add a bitmap that we can use for the mask. Now I want to use a bitmap that has a white and some transparency to it. We'll have to rotate this one around and then scale it up to fill the whole screen. Make sure the transparency still drops off at the bottom. So I have it in the right position and we're going to scale it just a little bit more and then scale it uh, and then we'll scale it in the Y to fill the whole screen. Now let's rename these two elements in the in the scene so we know what they are. Now go to the new masking properties. Uh, there is a global mask and layer masks. So let's start with adding these elements to layer one. So select the headshot mask as the source and the target is the headshot and immediately you can see how this headshot is masked. Now let's add a flag to the scene and drop it below the headshot and we'll rename it flag. Now let's add this small soft round object to the scene and uh, just drop it uh, above the flag and we'll rename it flag mask. Now let's scale this up to fill the whole screen as well. Now for this effect I want to actually move the, the flag a little bit off to the right. So we'll move the flag and the mask the same amount off to the right. Now go back into the mask properties and let's uh, select layer 2 and add the flag mask as the source and the flag as the target. And just that quick, the flag now has a soft mask as well. Now for this scene, we want to add some 3D text to it. So let's uh, type in the word name. And we'll bring it down in size a little bit and move it into place. So about 270 works. So we'll move it down into the lower left-hand corner. And I want to make sure that this uh, text has some character depth and some bevels. Now we'll go over to surface properties and we're going to apply some textures to each part of this text. So first of all, uh, we, we select the face and we're going to go and select a texture map and add it to the face. Now select the bevel and let's add a different texture. And we'll change this to be reflective. And now select the sides and we'll add a, a different bitmap to the sides. Now this one I want to change the brightness just a little bit, so we'll bring the brightness up. Now the last thing is uh, name the text in the scene graph so we have uh, we know what that is. Now this headshot that we used has some Adobe XMP metadata, so let's add that to the text. Right click on the headshot and select 2D image properties. Click the metadata button and select the last name to the template field. Now let's adjust the text properties. On the size to fit, click the W for width, auto erase, and all caps. And now we'll adjust the width by moving the blue bounding box to the right.
After seeing the text and the rounded edges, you might want to go back and adjust the textures on the rounded edges just a little bit. So we'll go back into the surface properties and adjust the texture slightly. Just do it on the bevels and on the sides until you're happy. Now I also want to add a drop shadow uh, to the text, but it's a little bit of a different drop shadow. It's, it's a 3D uh, drop shadow. So we navigate to the effect properties and click add with the 3D edge border selected in the list. And I'll just bring the strength down just a little. And now let's adjust the Y scale of the drop shadow to make it look like it is just under the letters and not behind them. And then the last thing we want to do to the scene is to put a background behind it. We have previously made a background and exported it as a selected node. It is very easy to then go and re-import those nodes into the scene. Navigate to the Nodes folder and select the blue animated background uh, LNO. We now have a new scene with 3D elements and it all uses the new masking features in Lyric.